All right, and we're back. And today we're gonna to do another video, another tutorial video. And today it's gonna to be about TradingView. So this is basically how I look at charts and the tools that I use. So let's get started. Okay, so number one, we're gonna probably wanna go over to tradingview.com. So next, I would say we're gonna create an account. And I think free trial would be it. It's, it's all free, there's a paid version. And a basic version uh, on the, the paid ones you get more charts and you can do more stuff with them I just do this the basic one it's it's it works perfect all right so once a username an email address a password and then you're gonna check all the boxes and then create account so go ahead and verify your email all right so you activate the account and you could just put whatever here so let's go to a ticker symbol. Let's just go to Bitcoin for now. Uh, BTC, I would just pick whatever one. Binance, whatever. All right, so this is uh, the Bitcoin chart on one, one of them anyways. So uh, go over here to full free featured chart. All right, so this is the <clears throat> this is the chart that I usually look at, except it's a little different. So. What we're going to want to do is change the a few things around on here. So with the free version, you get these ads and I just close them. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is change the layout. So let's come up here and click on this and change from area to candles. That's what I use. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come up here to the this uh, options right here go to dark colored theme I like doing this you could leave it that other way but uh, this is the way I do it I'll kind of just give you a layout of how every what everything looks like so on the side here I would actually come over here and probably close this one too you can do I think if you maybe just drop it all the way down yeah that's that's what I do I never use this. I've never, I was actually just looking at it because I don't ever use that. So just drop that all the way down and here's where all your favorites will be pretty much. Here's all the toolbars where you can, where all the tools are located and you can do the lines and do retracements and measure stuff. Up here is the time frame of the candles. So, so each one of these bars right here is a candle and depending on which setting you have this on this represents for instance a four hour candle because it's on the four hour if you put it on one day that's one day is each candle if you put it on the five minute five minute candle so basically it's a smaller time frame when you get these smaller time frames it's short term basically and when you look at the larger time frames it's longer term that is one way to kind of look at it. Okay, so so we're in the chart now and it looks looks like the way we want it to look. On this side is your favorites. So you can come up here and, and hit the plus sign and add ticker symbols to it. So if you wanna do Bitcoin and then you can look through here and see what exchange it's on. So like Bitcoin on Coinbase or Binance or there's a bunch of different ones. So so I just added it right here. Then I can move these around and at any time I can just click on these and see what my favorites are. So those are your favorites. Next, on this side, you got your toolbar. So usually when I look at a chart, I try to see if it's trending up or down. And with the line tool, you can click the line tool click once and then click twice drag and you get a trend line so I use this to see basically what it's doing or where it's trending up or down like you can get the, t the bottoms put trend lines in there and then put trend lines on the tops so right here it would have been something like like that because the red lines were bouncing up to this this trend line and then from there you can get patterns something usually tr it's triangle patterns that I'm looking for and it's something like this and if you bring it up to where it actually breaks out 
then you can get a target and that's your target right there and you can either take profits right there which is probably a good idea or hold on and see if it goes up further this kind of just gives you an idea of how it's trending what's kind of an idea of where it can get to and when it breaks this trend line then we know that we're moving in a other direction so let's say this wasn't here we didn't know that this was going to happen yet this just broke out when this breaks out and there's volume down here that's how you know that you're going to get you you're more likely we're dealing in probabilities in most of these scenarios so you're more likely it to go up all right so that's pretty much one that's the that's just the line bar the other one that I like to use so it would be a target from here to here bring that over here the other big one I like to use is the ruler so then we can grab from here bring it up and it'll tell you the percentage if you drag it left to right it'll tell you how many days there are so down here is how what day you're on I like it because it tells you how much percentage you're gonna make on this one trade so that one candle it looks like 51 percent let's go with some more tools okay so we got the trash can right here you could just delete all your lines and stuff like that after a while that it starts to be a mess so you can just delete everything and just start from scratch basically so that was that candle and you can kind of start again with making these patterns so something like that possibly looks like is going on and maybe so that kind of looks like this channel let's see if it breaks this line right here or if we get rejected and kind of come back down the other thing you would like to do is have this touching in as many places as possible so i mean that you could kind of argue something like that but basically you want the line touching in as many places as possible that makes the pattern stronger the more places the stronger the pattern okay uh i like this tool too it's a brush tool you can i can kind of just um illustrate with it another thing is if you go to this crosshair this tells you this uh kind of lets you click on these lines and do stuff with them so i can click on them and then up here I can click on these colors and change the colors of them or I can change the thickness you guys uh, and then there's also different settings in here you could do different stuff with I don't really use a lot of these but they're there you could use like arrows and stuff I, I haven't done a lot of uh, digger uh, I haven't dug d deeper into a lot of this stuff but because of a lot a lot of the just base tools is really useful okay so another thing that we got is in here in one of them anyways is the Fibonacci tool and I could probably make a whole video on this thing but the Fibonacci tool is is cool when you have these big runs and you think it's at the top you can see where it's gonna maybe retrace to so let's say we thought this was the top and usually you can count on it retracing to or you can kind of the, there's a golden pocket as they like to say I haven't I don't know much about it I've just kind of heard about it but I think it's in around the this area right here between the blue and the green I think this area is uh, another one that's pretty basically in this area right here is where you can kind of is a is a place where it would m maybe retrace to and I don't use it as much as I probably should, but it's out there. If you do more research on it, which hopefully I can get around to doing a video about and maybe doing more research about it, um, it's really cool though. I mean, it's interesting how it plays out. All right, let's keep going. So you can do, there's a text tool. So sometimes I'll do a, a horizontal line somewhere and then I can do come in here with a text tool and then put where my sometimes I'll put where my entry was right here and I'll, then I'll have a note on it alright next thing we should go over is probably the indicators so if you come over here on top there's the indicators and some of my favorite my favorite ones are probably moving average 
So go over here to the search and type moving average and just click over here and there's a star to star it. Okay. So let's do relative strength index and it's right here. Go ahead and click the star on that one. All right, so then we're gonna go to the stochastic RSI and there it is right there. Click the favorite. All right, so I think that about does it for the indicators and let's kind of go through them. So if you click over here, we go to favorites and let's click on uh, RSI. Let's start with the RSI for a second. All right, so as the way I understand this is that the more people that are buying, the higher this will be. I think it's kind of like volume. I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay, so the way I kind of understand it, and this is actually kind of interesting because this is mainly what I look for in the RSI is a bearish divergence and we're getting one in Bitcoin on the daily. This is crazy. I didn't even see that. Okay, so what I think it means is that more people were buying in at this level when it was lower than and less people are buying in now when it's higher. But it, it should be the opposite, as in there should be more. It's weird because the volume, I don't understand how, what the difference between RSI and the volume is, though. But what I use this for is usually just to find if I can see bearish divergences. So if this, if I can find a downtrend while this is uptrending, that is a bearish divergence. And what, like one of two things can or two things can happen pretty much is this can break through this bearish divergence and, it, and it'll skyrocket or it gets rejected and falls down and the price just starts just starts crashing so let's see what happens when this bearish divergence this is interesting i have a feeling it's going to break through and go up i'm not 100 percent sure that's crazy all right so that's that's the rsi let's let's and then so what you can do is there's an x right here you could close that and turn it off all right, so the next indicators. Another one, I guess that's not there is the volume. Let's put the volume on there too. Uh, click this, the star on the volume. And so what that does is bring out this volume down here. Like I was saying in a pattern, the other thing about, so like the, on this, uh, so with the volume, you can kind of see the patterns forming and breaking. So right here, the, volume is trending down and from the big spike you can kind of start the pattern and then when it breaks out you can kind of say that it kind of completed so, so that is the volume let's go let's let's take a look at the stochastic stochastic rsi and the way i understand this is basically momentum honestly this this i don't really use this that much anymore i used to use it when i first started a lot more you would really it's hard to t it's hard to read off this but it does kind of tell you the momentum of where it's going if it's if if the if the momentum is going sh straight down like this then i mean you, you you see right here it was going down and then it kind of went back up and then went down and so i'm i don't know it's one thing to check out though, see what the where the momentum what the momentum looks like. I rarely use it like I said though. Okay, so let's do oh yeah yeah, okay. Let's do the uh, moving averages. So go ahead and click twice on this moving average and what we're going to want to do is come into one of them and click the length and do 180. This is just what I use. Um other people use different uh, lengths so I do the 180 as orange and then I do the 9 as as blue oops so and these are I pay attention to very very much lately because if you notice the when it breaks under it it's this downtrend 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 but when it breaks above it and then it starts getting support on it, that's how you know it's going to go up. 
and until it breaks into it or so if this line goes like this and then it breaks under it again then you know that we're kind of starting to go we're going to start going down again for a while until it starts kind of leveling off and maybe going straight for a little bit and then it goes into it again then you then it goes bullish again but that's this is one of the biggest indicators that i've been using lately i mean if you look down here even to there's it's it's basically you you want to ride the what i've been my strategy on this is ride the waves so if it's on if it's above this especially on the daily then it's probably good and this is what i've been using in like all my stock charts analysis and then if like so on tesla let's go to tesla it tesla has been kind of weird even on the not weird but like on the daily it's just been going in and out of this but if you go in the bigger time frame on the weekly you can see that it's still getting support on this line right here so once we if we if it breaks this weekly then it's gonna be going down for longer because it's a longer time frame so let's see what happens with Tesla and if it can hold the support but yeah I think this is a huge indicator I learned this from zip trader on his channel pretty much I think um, so go check his stuff out but and he has a lot of good stuff to share too if you click up here you can search the t the ticker symbol so this would like tesla or whatever you want hp q is a stock that i'm into now so that's one thing and then doing your favorites is really helpful all right so let's say you're new to doing technical analysis and and like I said I kind of already gave you like a basic rundown of what you should do when you first jump on a chart in my opinion this is what I do is I try to see is the chart going up is it going down what is it doing in the bigger time frame and the smaller time frame so right now this is the big time frame let's draw some and we could even go if it if it's been around for longer go into a longest time frame probably possible just to kind of see that biggest p possible target look at this uptrend that netflix is in right here if until we break this green trend line it's it's going up and then you can do another one from the bottom right here to the bottom of this other bottom until it breaks that trend line it's going up if you want to get into it so we're on the weekly right now if we go into the daily another trend line look at that bottom bottom until we break that it's going up and it kind of looks like it's testing it right now it might come back down and then it'll come back down and test this line let's see if it'll test this line that's where i get these levels from and that's where i'm getting these targets from and that's where i'm getting support lines from so from here let's do the tops of them there's this top and this top so basically we have two places where it has to do something at this point it's either gonna break this resistance that it's been fighting or it's gonna break this resistance that it's fighting and either way it's gonna do something we're actually let's see okay and then so from there you would look at the moving averages is it on top of the moving average or is it on bottom of the moving average so right here it's on top maybe to me this says that it's it's a good thing on the daily let's see what it says on the weekly though we have to when we're looking at new charts we want to look at all time frames okay so on the daily it looks i mean honestly if i was going to bet on it i would say it's going to probably support it but I'm not sure if you if you go to the hourly or the four hourly. I'm bet I'm bet I'm guessing it looks like it's gonna go down. So let's see one hour. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely on the bottom of it. It doesn't look too bad or anything. Let's look. You could even do it on the five minute. Some charts you could even go down to the five minute. Some charts you could even go down to the one minute and look at these moving averages and it'll it'll work. I mean Doge was doing that the other day where you could look at the one out one minute and the trend you can use this moving average on that 
So it just depends on what chart you're on as to what time frame you're going to be wanted looking at. But if there's like this kind of in and out indecisiveness, go into a bigger time frame and kind of see still indecisive. I use the one hour, the four hour, the daily, the weekly and the monthly and the five minute too. So still in and out, no, no real thing daily it's looking a little better but it's still in and out weekly it's still in and out let's go to the monthly this is looking a little more clear see how it's kind of just it's it's riding it and then it breaks through it riding it breaks through. so you want to go out into the biggest time frame until you get this until you see it riding it or and breaking through or breaking through to the upside or the downside it looks like when it breaks to the downside, it, it does it kind of violently, and then when it breaks to the when it's going up, it just kind of cru it just kind of steadily goes up. But yeah, so I would say on Netflix, you'd want to look at this monthly time frame and watch this moving average. And right now, it looks it looks bullish, but like on this week, you could also do it on these time frames. But look how it's not really you don't really know what it's going to do it's it kind of goes in and out and it's not really a good indicator so netflix on the long term i mean that's kind of basically how i would kind of look at this chart all right so let's do let's do a pattern or something like that let's just kind of try to get a pattern so like i said we'll do trend lines going up and then we'll do trend lines from the top like what 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 is the resistance at the top okay so it's right here so let's try to get a target with this pattern so there's this pattern right here if you go to investopedia or just google chart patterns but investopedia has a bunch of them you can kind of see what what uh, different ones are and kind of just get more familiar a lot of this is experience a lot of this is watching videos uh that's how i learned how to do this is all through youtube so target we would get the bottom top of that bottom of this bring it over here and we'd get a target of something like that so on this weekly if it breaks so that's the other thing it's possible it breaks up it's also possible it breaks down so that's one thing when you're trading you don't always know that it's going to break up you wait this is how i learned you wait until this breaks to the top it breaks up here and it closes with a candle so on this weekly like up here it went up and then it went down that's not what we want we want it to go up we want it to stay up there and we want it to to get another candle another green one preferably and it go up or a red even a red candle if we stay up here and then a green candle next time from there then we know that it's not dumping down from this pattern and sometimes I've gotten, I've, I've made the wrong decision and that's why you need also stop losses. And I don't always do stop losses. So we have this nine moving average and the 180 moving average. Let's go up to templates and we can do save indicator template and we're gonna do moving average is MAs and save that. So what that saved was this volume, the moving average nine, moving average eight, 180. So if I turn those off, I can just come up here to templates and click on MAS or whatever you named it. Click on that and it'll, the volume will come up, the, the 180 will come up and the nine will come up. Another template that I like is the moving average exponential ribbon. So I'll go ahead and click the favorite on that one and I'll click the favorite on this this one here and that'll put them up here. So I could just click on this one for that one or this one for the moving the exponential moving average. And this is kind of basically the same kind of idea is that when you break above it and you're riding on top of it, that's a good thing. When you're a, when you're below it, it's a bad thing, and you want to see you want to be able to see these waves. You don't want it to be going in and out, in and out, in and out. If you're if it's going in and out, you need to go to a bigger time frame. So for, let's go to gold. So on this one, it looks like it's about to test this bottom red line, and that's another thing it does. 
is it will it'll bounce off the red line and go up and then kind of come back into it bounce off the red line go up bounce off the red line look it did it right here it wicked down but it came up started bouncing on it and it looks like it's about to either bounce on it or it's also possible that it gets rejected and it goes through it and that's when you get a good break down let's see if we so like right here it broke down we got all these red candles broke down red candles broke down red candles when it's getting rejected it's up here so th let's take the opposite for example it broke down and it tried to come back into it it got rejected came to red candles tried to come back up and go back into it got rejected red candles same thing so you guys can kind of see this is kind of if it so like like right now on gold if we come up back on gold and we start bounce like if we bounce on it then we know that we're we're not going down but it does look like it's testing it so f on this chart i would do a downtrend kind of maybe something like that and then we have our uptrend which is something from this line right here all the way to this bottom right here so i got the bottom the bottom the top and the top and that's how that triangle formed so let's see so now we'll see what this price does if it bounces up here if it gets rejected and it should probably do something like this and when it breaks either up or down it's going to do something probably pretty big so gold probably is in for a big move either up or down let's see okay so you can get rid of these by clicking on this at these X's over here right here we'll kind of show you where all the indicators are and what indicators you have on so if I like I said the right here are your favorites so I can just go to that one if I wanted let's let's just clear it everything or I can go to this moving average or if I don't want any of them on I can come over here and I can close that I can close that I can close that and just get a blank chart but I like having the moving averages on at all times that's it's nice and simple and it's not too much in the way and then just do some basic trend lines this is like basics basics basic I mean this is basically all I'm most of what I'm doing and then do something like this and kind of see I would you can maybe bring this up a little some sometimes I'll do it to the wick sometimes I'll do it to the candle it just kind of depends on what I'm kind of feeling I like to try to do it at the wicks though just because it's technically the bot like it technically the price did get there uh, so maybe do that wick to this wick but then you also have these trend lines back here and you can kind of get into it a little crazy I like to kind of try to maybe simplify it and keep as many lines off of it and just use the main ones that I'm the main ones that I'm that I'm kind of looking at I mean you can kind of see it down here this is like a huge trend line going up and then up here is the, a huge top so I mean basically go in here and then in the smaller time frame start going into the daily and seeing what those have but yeah I think that I think that about does it for this 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 uh, tutorial if if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'll I'll answer them and maybe I can if there's an, enough like questions or if there needs to be more explanation I can do a second video or something like that or I can kind of do a video on just one of the pieces I, I still need to do more research on like the RSI the stochastic RSI and I have a lot to learn guys so I'm still kind of learning with you guys as much as the same thing so just kind of wanted to put the, put this trading view out there because I know some people have been asking asking or I've, I've got asked a few times uh, how do I look at these charts or wh where am I looking at the charts and stuff like that and uh, so here you go but if you like the video hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep up to date and get more content like this but other than that you guys have a great day